Hi, Pierre Rose. Hello. How are you? I'm excited. You're excited? Yes. I'm excited to have you here. Wow. So I have three questions I want to ask you. Okay. And the first one is, uh -huh. what is the one thing you have influenced your husband to become? Well, I have influenced him in so many things and so many ways. Uh -huh. But um, one thing I've influenced my husband is to be a leader. Wow. Yes and uh through because we are working the same thing and you know but of course we came from different backgrounds but today we are leaders there is that uh, nature of being um, quite tough with the people then i'm um, that kind guy willing to accommodate people and all that but for her she used to be a no nonsense but now I can see she's able to accommodate uh, wow. people and all that. Number two, what was the first gift your wife bought for you and where were you? The first gift he bought for me, can, can I remember? Okay. <laughs> um, the first gift he, he bought for me. A suit from... from Dubai, so that might not be very, the very first, but it's one of them, the very first. Okay, he bought me a gift, it was a t-shirt, but it was oversized, <laughs> so can I call that a gift? It is. Yeah. He gave, he gave it in a Yes, motive. and we were in college. Wow. Yes. Not sure of the very first. <laughs> but that is, what, that is the one that I can remember. <clears throat> yeah, because I didn't used to put on suits. But now by the nature of what we do, you have to be smart. Yes. Uh, so she had to uh, gift me with uh, a suit. And again, I'm very poor in choosing like which is the best suit and all that so that that has been her docket all through yeah and those are the many surprises she has always done to me wow. lovely and the last one yes um the house is burning mm -hmm. what are the three items your wife will rescue from the house the first one is me uh-huh <laughs> i know that i know that one for sure then the kids you said three things. Yes. Maybe the certificate and the title deeds, I think. Are we inside the house with yes. the children? Because yes. the first thing she will rescue is uh, the children. Uh, perhaps certificates. Uh, the third one would be herself. Herself. Yes. You, you are not wearing the picture. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she knows that I will be able to take care of myself. Okay. Uh, I've done it uh, many times. Uh -huh. She trusts that I will be able to rescue uh, myself. Okay. And we rescue the children together. Wow, yes. so children certificates and herself. Yes. Hello, hello, and good evening. And for those who are not here in our motherland, good afternoon and good morning, depending with where you are watching us from. Yes, it's Friday, and it is in the month of March, where we are doing marching in love. And tonight, we are not only doing marching in love, we are also doing marching in clothes. Manze, this month, after the month of love, February, Mapenzi Imeja all over. And this is Kapo's Week Show. This is where we write down our love with when we are alive. For we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone. My name is Willie Kinyash, and now there they call me the Undisputed. I'm a Dr. Love. And this is Weber TV, the voice of hope. 
And tonight, we are yet to hear another love story of a beautiful and amazing couple. They are the karaoke's. I can assure you, for sure, your expectations will not be cut short. Because this couple, it's a power couple. Hi, guys. Hi, Willy. Eh, si wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank Thanks you. a million. My wife, I hope you're watching. This is a couple goal. <laughs> yes. Karibuni sana. Asante. Asante. And thank you for coming. I feel honored having you here. I know you guys are busy, busy people. And so finding or creating time to come and be with us, it's, it's such an honor. So karibuni sana. Thank uh, you. You can say hi to our viewers and uh, introduce your uh, sales. Wow, I'll start. Hi, great viewers. I'm excited to be here with Willie. Thank you for inviting us. It's exciting. Such a honor. It's my first time. And so I feel great. So my name is Pieros Cherotich. Mm -hmm. That's my name. Uh, yes, I am the wife to karaoke. That's how the name karaoke is come. And uh, together we have four young children, not young because the firstborn is 13, we have 11, we have nine, and we have seven. Wow. Minus two, minus two, minus two. Hey. Yeah, we minus went to college, seven. we did maths and physics, that yes. was our first degree. Uh -huh. So we had to apply. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> minus two, minus two, minus two. Yes, yes, wow. yes. Yeah, I'm a teacher by profession. Mm -hmm. I have been teaching in high school, mathematics and physics. Yes, and now I am retired, by the way. Oh, retired? But, but of course, they say once a teacher, always a teacher. Yes. So I'm, I'm still a teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. So where are you teaching? Now today, I, just, I, I, I am an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I retired 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Just to go into entrepreneurship, I empower people mm -hmm. in business. Mm -hmm. That's it. And I, I empower more women. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Maybe you can talk more about the business. Yeah, my business involves uh, dealing with um, issues or matters that are up right now. Mm -hmm. And mostly I deal with health. Mm -hmm. I talk to people about good health, good mm -hmm. nutrition. Mm -hmm. Because uh, some 12 years ago I was suffering. I, had, uh, I was obese. Mm -hmm. I was weighing 124 kg. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And so I got into the industry of nutrition and all that. Mm -hmm. I got to know that and how I can get help. And so I said, why not now help other people after I gained back my health? Mm -hmm. And uh, today, that's what I do. I've been able to do it even globally, mm -hmm. and it's really exciting. So, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. And Bazu himself. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Willy. <laughs> it's really my pleasure to be here. Yeah. I admire what you do. Oh, well, thank I'm you. Following you, and uh, it's my pleasure to be invited here. Yes. Yeah, as Pierre has said, it is true. I am her lollipop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Karaoke just fat is my name. Yes. Um, I used to also teach the same subjects like her mm -hmm. in high school, mm -hmm. physics and maths. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, physics, maths, physics, maths. It became chemistry, biology. So. Yay. <laughs> the ones we married Eish. that they reproduced. Hey. Uh, <coughs> yeah, then after that, uh, by the way, it's true, I'm the father to the four children. You, you, you can yeah. confirm that. Yeah, yeah, I can confirm <laughs> that. Um, they say that we should always talk of uh, currently. So currently we have four. Oh, currently. Four issues of marriage mm -hmm. <coughs> or children. Mm -hmm. uh, so after teaching in high school and I furthered studies, I went to teach in the university mm -hmm. uh, here in Nairobi mm -hmm. and I continued furthering studies. Mm -hmm. But then at one point we realized that um, we needed to live much better life than we were living mm -hmm. as teachers. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll talk more about that. Yeah. So we thought we needed to focus on our dreams mm -hmm. and we didn't want to uh, start getting wealthy when we are aged and we mm. don't have energy and time to enjoy the wealth. Yeah. So that's how we ventured into business mm. and uh, in our early 30s we fired our bosses. Mm -hmm. 
So, and that contributes a lot to the love. You know, you cannot love each other if you are not together. Yes, <laughs> true. Yeah. Those years, uh, she could wake up early in the morning, go to her workplace, the same with myself. We meet in the evening. Yeah. With all uh, the stresses. She narrates to me how some teachers stressed her. Yeah, and how some I, students. Yes, yeah. they were indisciplined. Yeah. And then I could also give the negative stuff of my workplace yeah. mm. so you you sleep when you are so tired mm. mm -hmm. now where we will have come in in that mm. case mm. yeah but then when we started uh, you know working together mm -hmm. we had the same house the same car driving to, to the office in town mm -hmm. the same office yeah. coming together again in the evening so we are always together <laughs> wow. yes. that's why we have matched the way you see you it. exactly yeah. yes. <laughs> we can't help it yes. yeah yeah how does it feel mm -hmm. to work with your spouse i mean monday to sunday you're together with this guy oh now it feels great but in the beginning mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I was like, my God, mm -hmm. you know, you feel like in the beginning, like you don't have that space, you know, but now finally we came to know that we really actually we can't do without each other. So mm -hmm. when I go out, I feel like, no, there's something missing in me. Mm -hmm. So it came gradually mm -hmm. because after work, our jobs had separated us for so long. Mm -hmm. And uh, you heard my name is Pierre Rose Chirotich. So yes. coming from a different place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we didn't like know each other. Mm -hmm. So at some point now we wanted, we really trusted God for something that we can do that can bring us together. Mm -hmm. And so God brought us an opportunity in 2010. Mm -hmm. And this opportunity has really mm -hmm. done so much for us. Wow. So that is where now we are dreaming the same dreams. We actually do the same vision board. Mm -hmm. When we are drawing our vision board, we draw it together wow. because we are running the same race. Mm -hmm. So that's what I love about our business and mm -hmm. uh, doing the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. At what point uh, does it, uh, or how long does it take for people to start wearing like this? Twinny. <laughs> um, I, I I think uh, <clears throat> this kind of dressing started with um, us traveling a, a lot together. Mm -hmm. We love a uh, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, we are I ready for why. lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> over I there. always see you guys <laughs> yes. in the beaches yes. of the world. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. So you you are traveling to this country and uh, you want to uh, you know design the same kind yeah. of clothes. And when we travel, we are buying clothes and we want to match again. Mm -hmm. And it also feels nice mm -hmm. when um, you are talking to people and you look like you are dressed like someone. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. True. Um, but it, uh, you have asked, when does it start? Mm -hmm. I, I think it starts when in your mind you decide you want to achieve something. Wow. You know, it starts with the deciding. Wow. Uh, I will shock you that <clears throat> for us to be this close, mm -hmm. we had first to really have huge gaps. Mm -hmm. Some natural gaps. You mm -hmm. see, she has told you I imported her. <laughs> She's not local. I imported <laughs> her from Rift, Rift Valley. Yes. And uh, those are different cultures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, um, uh, different ways of doing things. Mm. Even food, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, I remember initially we used to have issues with the food mm -hmm. because uh, she wasn't used to the food that I was used to. Yeah, and and you can uh, sleep same. with Gideri. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, that's a snack. How? Our place is a snack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gideri is a snack. Yeah. Yeah. My goodness. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> Mursik. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now you won't believe the way I would take the music, but initially uh -huh. I, I couldn't swallow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then you, you get what used. kind of thing yes, is this? Yes, yeah. yes. But then uh, I got used to it. Uh -huh. uh, she also taught me how to cook uh, ugali. If you want the right ugali way. to be cooked, <laughs> uh, then uh, she will do a very good job. Yeah. So we had that diverse cultures. Mm -hmm. um, but then I think it also worked for us mm -hmm. because we started understanding that if it has to work mm -hmm. it's up to us mm -hmm. uh, you know many people uh, when they have issues they s s go out to mm -hmm. get solutions yes. yeah. but that mm -hmm. only exaggerates and uh, compounds the problems mm -hmm. but then we realize that if we can be reasoning together we mm -hmm. sit down and mm -hmm. we talk mm -hmm. then uh, things will work yeah so 
such that even being here now with this kind of anata, it was an argument. Yeah. I had yeah. to remove what I had put on <laughs> in, the in the morning. Wow. I told him, no, we one. have to yes. go with these. It's about idea. agreeing. Yes. Exactly. Uh, my friend, we've come from far. Yeah. I, I had to throw this. away some shoes. <laughs> I remember one shoe I used to have. I, I, when uh, I was still having a challenge with the cash flow, <laughs> I, I bought one big shoe. Yes. Such that it can survive any weather. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in test, case I the te test of time, test of time. Yes. Yes. And in case I grow bigger, yes. I don't have to buy another one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but then uh, she yeah, no asked me to throw away that. <laughs> yes. see, so everything has to be on agreement. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we also born again, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we know that um, Christ plays a very a big, big role. role. Yeah. He's the CEO mm -hmm. of yes. our marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And even in uh, fellowship, we started different. Mm -hmm. I remember initially she had to be keen on whether this guy is uh, uh, really born again because I was going to a different church than mm -hmm. herself. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we had to agree on all these things. Wow. Uh, so I tell people it's okay to disagree, then you agree. Yes, exactly. Other than agree and disagree forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's how it started. Let me ask yes. what. Uh, what mostly helped you to come now into that common agreement? It's the problems we had <laughs> versus the dreams we wanted to achieve. Mm -hmm. Wow. Men, you, you know... So the problems and the dreams, <laughs> yeah. yes. They, they played a big role. Yeah. You see, <laughs> if you are chased by something and you are running for something, mm -hmm. that determines the speed with which you run. Yes. So uh, for us to start the journey to where we are, mm -hmm. We realized that we were really struggling financially and in many other aspects. Mm -hmm. So we even started evaluating what we were doing then mm -hmm. and asked ourselves, if we continue doing what we are doing today, mm -hmm. will we achieve the dreams we, we want to achieve? Mm -hmm. Like now, for, for example, myself, mm -hmm. you see as a scholar, mm -hmm. what happens is that many people pursue education mm -hmm. and then they become like uh, objects or machines mm -hmm. of working like donkeys mm. and they don't even have time to live. Yeah. So for us, we realize that we need to live than go through life without living. living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, mm -hmm. she's a dreamer like myself. Yes. Men, we have big dreams. Mm -hmm. So we sit down and uh, we engage in a meeting, the two of us, mm -hmm. to agree on what we want to do. Mm -hmm. So I remember 10 years ago we were uh, struggling to pay rent, mm -hmm. we were struggling, to, we were still using Route 11, you know, mm -hmm. walking, yes, uh, carrying children, some here, others, you know, yeah, <coughs> and all that. Four, four kids, <laughs> yeah. That time we had two. Uh -huh. uh, in our first six years of marriage, mm -hmm. we had four children. Don't ask how, yeah, yes, <laughs> uh, and uh, so we usually we decided let's sit down and we agree, how are we going to achieve these dreams? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we started thinking of business. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then of course, not every business will make sense. Mm -hmm. I was still busy in the university, she was busy with the TSC. Mm -hmm. So we needed a business that we can be able to do without mm -hmm. us being there. Mm -hmm. yeah. True to it, mm -hmm. what you can perceive and conceive in your mind, you can, you can achieve. achieve. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how we've been able to really achieve too much within a short time. Mm -hmm. And uh, the rest is history. Wow. So where did karaoke meet Cheriot? Cheriotich. Oh my Cheriot. God. Cheriot. They, they Cheriot. Have I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> they have I know, meanings. I know, I know. Yes. They, they have meanings. Mm -hmm. Like Cheriotich, just to show you that I know. Cheriotich means born in the evening. <laughs> when the cows are coming back. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see. That is uh, Cheriotich. <laughs> Cheruyot. It's when people are asleep, no? You, you see, so... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now you asked where we met. Yes, where did Karyuki meet uh, this girl from uh, Rip Valley? I think she should tell us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's amazing. Uh, yeah. Every time I ask that question in this show, yes. I always get different versions. Yes. Let's hear your version, and then maybe you can hear his version. Mm. Wow, so here I am. <laughs> I have been admitted to Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. I'm a first year. Mm -hmm. I was doing education, physics, maths. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd also come to do the same. So we were all, both stroke zero one. Mm -hmm. 
And so um, we go to a physics, a math, is it? It was a math class, mathematics class. Mm -hmm. And there is this uh, lecturer who says that the books are not enough. The textbooks that we were using, the course books, you have to share. So I happened to, uh, sh to share with a guy called Jose. And it was actually the first two weeks mm -hmm. into joining campus. Mm -hmm. So this Jose, I am sharing the book, tells me, he, he lives in room 48. Mm -hmm. So I will go for the book once he's through with the book. So yeah, ha, yeah. so after one day I went for the book. Mm -hmm. So going to room 48, mm -hmm. I find Jose, I don't find Jose, I find the roommate. Jose what? No, 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 no. <laughs> the roommate. Um, that was a different person. I'm jumping before the class. Yes. <laughs> so this roommate tells me, mm -hmm. uh, I'm asking, I, I asked him for Jose and he says, Jose is in room 50. <laughs> He has gone to see a friend in room 50. So, the friend Jose has gone to see is not Josphat, but Josphat's roommate. Mm -hmm. So, I, I landed in room 50, going mm -hmm. to look for the book. Yeah. So, when I went, those two friends had left. Mm -hmm. So, Josphat is there. Alone. Alone. Mm -hmm. And funny, he was cooking Uji. <laughs> <laughs> so, I knock the door and he opens. I see this, this guy is cooking Uji. I can't see Jose. Okay, it's only one person there seated on the bed mm -hmm. and cooking uji. Mm -hmm. And so I ask him, hi, where is Jose? Can I see? Then he's like, no, madam, why can't you just introduce yourself first? Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, please just tell me. I'm told Jose from room 48 has come here. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay, he has left. Mm -hmm. They have left with my roommate. Mm -hmm. So can you wait for this uji I cook with drink? And I was like, no. Can you tell, my name is Joseph, but can you tell me your name? I said, no. Hey. Yeah, and then I see the way he's even corroborating the Uji. This guy does not know anything. And I'm like, <laughs> hey, this is the Uji he's telling me to. <laughs> so I, I now decided, I, I just flew away. Like, just I just like banged that. the door and left. Yes. The guy was left there. Uh -huh. So imagine the following day we are going for a, a lecture. And the lectures when we were first years were really full. <clears throat> you are waiting for the... The, the others from that class, from the, the, the room to, to leave so that you can enter. So you have to go early so that you can find a seat. We were so many. Mm -hmm. So I go early. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. We are waiting for the others to exit so that we can enter. Mm -hmm. Then I see the guy. Mm -hmm. Now him. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, that guy. I think I saw him yesterday. Mm -hmm. Then he's like, he waved at me. Hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> and from the other side. Now there were flowers in between. Mm -hmm. I didn't wave back nearly Mwangalia to Ivy. I'm like, <laughs> hey, we went to class, we finished, we were so many. The following day, mm -hmm. the same thing. Mm -hmm. The same class, mm -hmm. a mathematics class. Mm -hmm. We're in the same class. I'm like, then he came now close. I said, hi. Mm -hmm. I said, I didn't even speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, of course it went like that. The the I think the third time now is when I we even sh shook hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> yeah, I told her what uh, <coughs> I was feeling <laughs> right there. Yes. No, so after, of course, you don't go directly, but you know what you want, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, sometimes you have to ask, 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, don't give up. Yes, uh, by the way, I initially before then I knew it's about gospel and uh, studies nothing else go spell and studies yeah nothing else yes uh, you know you don't want to be spoiled by girls in the university so i was i, I knew uh -huh. I, I should but uh, i spoiled you no 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 so th that's not what i had in mind uh -huh. but then uh, when uh, she came across uh, the way she has narrated i had to bend the principles uh -huh. And uh, so I <laughs> felt like uh, this is where my heart is going. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Yeah. So yeah. she told me she wanted to pray about it. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering. She now, you, Sasa, we are in second year now. Yeah. By the way, we were so, I, I mean, me, mm -hmm. I was so, you know, away. I didn't want to talk to him, especially when I heard the name. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yuki. hey. Yuki no she has a whole no story zone. about that. Uh -huh. She was told uh, by parents when you go to the university, <laughs> of all the things you must take care of, yes. please avoid cukes. Yes. Those people kill. Yes. They do. They, they steal. <laughs> they steal. You know? <clears throat> so she, and it's true, by the way, they steal because I ended up stealing her. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh so my God. <laughs> Yeah. It yeah. was really interesting, by the way. It mm -hmm. was interesting. In fact, before then, it started, we were booking seats for each other. Wow. In the, when we enter, because people were really flocking the front. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted him to sit with me. You know, now that car. Yes, ca that ca car. I was also very good in physics. physics. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was very good in physics. Mm -hmm. But me, mathematics yeah. more. So what happened, there is a time we were put in a, in a discussion group. Then we are 10, mm -hmm. and whenever a hard question comes, the guy is like, Pierros knows that one. Pierros at one BAU. Mm -hmm. So he's like, why is he mentioning my name all this? I mean, yes. so he started booking seats, and sometime in second year, I booked the seat. Imagine and there are people standing, mm -hmm. and the guy never appeared in the, in the oh, hall. No. The whole lesson, one hour, mm -hmm. the guys are standing, and they were so bitter. Mm -hmm. And he's, a friend of his said, oh, he said you can pass by my place, his place, so that is unwell. Uh, so Kumbe alikuwa anapanga mistari. Eh, yeah, no, that is why was, uh, that is why he missed the class. Uh, yeah, he missed. Yeah, he I missed was, the class to yeah, have the no, 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 I was sick. <laughs> I was sick for sure. I was sick. You know, uh, there is there are some good diseases of the heart. <laughs> uh, I was sick, so I knew eh, I would concentrate in class. Why eh, not? Uh, so wait for when her. I went to the room, uh -huh. the guy said, um, at the um, uh, this, uh, you know, uh, Kunam, uh, Pierre Rose, my sister, actually, I'll call Anita, sister, soon as you sister, brother. Yeah. So he's like, my sister, Yani, now there's someone, uki, uki, uki penda mtu, unafaa kumuambia aje, so mina shindwa, mm -hmm. what kind of a question is this? Mm -hmm. So, nika muambia, you pray about it, pray about it, my brother. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, where is this question heading? Mm -hmm. So he's like, now, mm -hmm. it is you. Oh, I was like, so I was, I just had, I had the courage, mm -hmm. just, I had to really have the courage and I said, okay, I'll give you feedback. Mm -hmm. The guy said, no, it's now or now. You just have to give me now feedback. Or now. Yeah, nikaona <laughs> atakufa, so. Yes or no. Yeah, yes or no. <laughs> yes. I'm like, what do you mean? No. It's like now. Okay. You know these things, they don't have rehearsals. You know there's no rehearsal. Yes. And uh, if you allow it to just pass, mm -hmm. you don't know whether that is the end. Yeah. Uh, so, and I didn't know how I would handle a no. Mm -hmm. So I was prepared uh, for a yes for or a yes. yes. For you it was a yes or a yes. yes. <laughs> Nothing like no. Yes. And you are not know. a negative guy. I'm hey, a man of guy. faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you he's know a man of faith. Being like, uh, being no, I don't know. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. No. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's been great. Mm -hmm. For sure, after second... Why, unfortunately, my God, mm -hmm. two weeks down the line after saying yes, mm -hmm. there was a strike. Uh -huh. We were so stressed. I mean, now there is a strike. Mm -hmm. We have to go home yes. indefinitely. And, and I just got a new boyfriend. Oh God! Okay. I was like, and then I didn't have a phone, mm -hmm. but he has. He had a phone, mm -hmm. so I ha I have a neighbor about a kilometer away. Mm -hmm. So I gave him the the number of my neighbor mm -hmm. a kilometer away. Yes. So he would call the guy all the way now from Kirenyaga. Mm -hmm. Call the guy. Mm -hmm. The guy would come home. One kilometer. One kilometer. <laughs> come and tell me this guy wants to talk to you. Oh my God. Yes. Then we would talk, then I returned the phone. It, it went like that until we came back. Mm -hmm. So, then yeah. The strike took how long? Ah, it took like almost uh, two months. Oh, two months? Yeah. Oh. We stayed home for two months. I suffered. And actually, <laughs> during the strike, <laughs> during the strike, it so happened that uh, the students, we had gone to the administration block. Mm -hmm. And so they had co called the GSU people. Mm -hmm. And you know, they can be tough. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So they came and they found us, and you know the admin is surrounded, mm -hmm. walls are very high. Mm -hmm. So my goodness, to me patikana palendani, mm -hmm. and we can't run away. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine now we have to climb, and we are so many, mm -hmm. but the GSU, they have come in a lorry. Mm -hmm. So they are coming to now beat all the students, do all those things. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, mm -hmm. this guy... Mm -hmm. He just held my hand. Ah, this is why he was saying no, that. He yeah. saved you. Yeah. Yeah. He saved me. <laughs> Imagine aka, aka, alinipandisha uko jumbali. <laughs> Sasa, he came and said, now he, I had to climb on him here, up there, 
then I had to now jump the other side. Yeah. Very high. Even if I took you there now, you would wonder, how did this happen? Mm -hmm. Then he came. Of course, I left one of my shoes inside. and <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to go home without one shoe. Mm -hmm. So I, I was like, when I went away, I, I said, wow. So he has started defending me this yes. early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I already saw the future in him. Wow. Mm. wow. I saw the future is very bright with this one. If he has done this, because mm -hmm. most of the students were really... They were beaten very, very badly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Actually, I did not only save her there, mm -hmm. uh, which up to now she believes was uh, miraculous. <clears throat> Do you know, uh, when uh, you value something, you mm -hmm. take care of it. Yes. I mean, you yes. risk your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I risked and uh, I helped her to escape. Mm -hmm. Then I ran with her mm -hmm. from KU to Gedurai. Running you to get right, and you yeah. know, the GSU are coming beating everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had to make sure that uh, she runs at my speed, mm -hmm. so it was not that easy. But then I got so much of uh, bonga points, yeah. <laughs> moment, she, she, she had no option now than to follow. Oh, there she, was no option here. Yes. Sure. How can you say no? To yeah, yeah you can't. <laughs> How you can't? I mean. <laughs> Yeah, but so. unless you don't have feelings, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so wow. of course, there was that fear within me that um, now, from this culture, how will I introduce him to my parents, mm. people out there, you know, tribalism, all mm. that. Mm -hmm. But I loved him, but now I was so, I was so fearful. Mm -hmm. How will I ever tell my people? Mm -hmm. They wouldn't even agree. Mm. Uh, and for sure they didn't. Mm -hmm. mm. So how, how did you break uh, those news to your parents? Mm. Hers was tough. Let's start with mine, which was very <laughs> easy. You know, <clears throat> uh, for me, I was really also sweating because uh, I didn't know how to tell my parents that I'm marrying someone, a lady, mm -hmm. from that far. Yes. Yeah, that time I remember even uh, the Kikuyus and Karenjis were not that close. Yes. So it was really tough. But mm -hmm. what is so amazing, mm -hmm. um, I gathered courage and I told my dad. Mm -hmm. Did you tell or you wrote a letter? Uh, okay, okay, I told him in, in form of <laughs> writing. Yeah. Yes. You couldn't face your dad. <laughs> your father. Yes. You couldn't face him. Yes, because I was not sure how he will uh, take it. Yes. So I drafted a letter. <laughs> And uh, so I, I sneaked it in and uh, and and went to the shamba. Eh? Yeah, and I he ran away. Ran away. So, so you have let him be ready. Yes, left it there. Yes, and then you and I disappeared. <laughs> yes. Just in the case he wants to kill somebody. Uh -huh. So now <clears throat> uh, he ran the letter anyway, and uh, surprisingly mm -hmm. he told me, ah, "If that is where God has uh, taken you, then oh, it's, it's all okay. right." I was like, ah, people fear things that should not be feared. Yes. Mm -hmm. I felt like I'm doing it again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not writing. Yes. Like telling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, and uh, that is why it started. But now the most difficult part mm -hmm. was uh, breaking it, the news to her parents. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. How was it? Remember, I'm coming to KU and they are telling me if there is anyone you should relate. You should avoid. Yes. People Except from, from Mount Kenya. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, uh, it so happens that my dad was affected in 1992 clashes in mm. Molo, those mm. sides. Eh? Mm. And so, you know, that rift yeah. became very, uh, mm. yeah. Mm. And then their culture too. Uh, now our culture, I mean, yes. eh? yeah. the Kikuyu culture, how they do things like, uh, you know, uh, they, they, they bury the dead, how they do those things. Mm -hmm. It never impressed impresses our people mm. yeah so somehow there was that rift mm. so it became a problem because when i was now in second year third year as we related i used to tell my sisters my brothers mm. so the my the word uh, now went to my parents and mm. my mom was so stressed so my mom came for a graduation when i was a third year mm. for a neighbor at home <coughs> and that is the time i took to to introduce josphat mm -hmm. and you know what she went home mm -hmm. Since 1998, she had had high, high blood pressure, but it was managed. Her <laughs> pressure shot. Oh, yeah. Hey, That's she was just washing utensils in the morning now after they came back from Nairobi. And then she was just talking like, my, my child is now gone. Oh, my gosh. She's and lost. she fainted. Oh, Her pressure went up. Mm -hmm. 
So that scared me most because now how do you go telling these people who you know they are so negative? Mm -hmm. So uh, when it reached the time we had now graduated, um, I went through my auntie. Mm -hmm. I told my auntie, please go and tell him. So my auntie, who is a cousin to my dad, mm -hmm. uh, said, ah, that's simple. I'm just going to tell him. It's so simple. You are of age anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, my auntie went and she's younger than my dad. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. She got a slap. Eh? Yes. Your auntie? Yes, from my dad. And he said, I don't want to hear anything like that. Siwezi somesha mtoto akuje sasa aende apote. So I got so scared. I didn't. Him, yeah. Getting married to Akikuyu. Ni, yo ni kupotea. Kabisa. Mm. Mm -hmm. So um, it became very tough. I couldn't tell him. So it was really hard. Now coming to the time we now want. We are almost. We are ready for each other. We are like now we need to go and tell them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just said there is a, a visitor coming. And my dad said never. And that time I was already working, I was already teaching, I was, I was working like a TAC teacher mm -hmm. in Thika. Mm -hmm. So when I went home telling my parents and I said he's coming now to really, Officially and he now. was actually to come with a friend of his. Mm -hmm. But my dad said never, I don't want to hear that, let him not come here. Thank God my grandfather was a policeman. Mm -hmm. Kitambo, mm -hmm. and he used to work in Nairobi, he befriended these people, mm -hmm. and so he said, no, 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 she should be allowed, mm -hmm. my grandmother too. Mm -hmm. They know not much, they don't know much, but mm -hmm. they were like, no, it's good. It Actually, my grandfather said when he was a police officer, mm -hmm. he, was, uh, he was really assisted by Kikuyu, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. But my dad could not hear anything. So just fat, I told him, please don't come. I actually had to travel to Nairobi, nikakuja nikamuambia Aki. Usijaribu kukuja. Mushale inakungoja. <laughs> hey! So the guy said, wacha nikuje, wacha wanipi, wacha nikufe. Hakuna shida. He was way, willing to we die. Going, I remember we were walking, looking... But you came you know, alone now. Yeah, we agreed he doesn't have to come with someone. Because that is embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, his friends yeah, would yeah. say. But I, I knew I must receive Mishale Kadha. So I was so scared. I was <laughs> looking around. kwa bush. In him bio, because you know now Michelle is yo yo. But then I decided that ah, a man will die once. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so we got that. Car. So we didn't go home. We actually went to my grandmother. We had lunch there, mm -hmm. and my grandmother was very happy. We went home, mm -hmm. and my dad, I remember, he was eating chapati like this, kufuruta ivi, and he saw him, and he talked in my language and said no. I said no. Now, I didn't want to tell him. And my, da my aunties came, they are trying to persuade him, and my mom now is also negative. Mm -hmm. So it became a whole process. Mm -hmm. So after that, he went to sleep with my cousin. Mm -hmm. And one thing that really struck, even to date, my cousin, is sh he, he got shocked. When the guy went, me, I had decided, now, I actually told my dad, now it is over you and me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so me, I'm going, I work in Thika, I will never come back. Don't wait for in-laws anymore mm -hmm. or even grandchildren. Because now, unakata mtu wamekuja tu kwa nyumba kuomba. Wengi wanaenda and they, they yeah. come with children and Jesus. you have to accept without mm -hmm. any choice. Mm -hmm. eh? And now this one has come. Mm -hmm. Clean. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry I will not come to your house. Me, I went to sleep. And in fact, I think for the, the years I have lived, I have never gotten sweet sleep. Peaceful. I slept like a baby. Wow. Now, at five, my sister, I, ha I have a very small sister who was like uh, maybe six years old. So she used to sleep with the parents that time. So she knocked the door where we were sleeping and she said, dad is calling you. So I knew my dad because he had been telling me all the time, Hata nita kunywa sumu. <laughs> hey, I knew he's now, I'm a kunywa sumu and he wants to die. Let mm. me. I just woke so, up. <laughs> he was threatening to <laughs> kill himself. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so I went there. I sat now. Uh -huh. where, in the room he was. And we sat down. <laughs> and he was very calm by the way. Uh -huh. And he said. In my heart. I release you my daughter. Wow. Oh my God. I looked at him. I'm like. I was coming for bad news. So this sleep that I slept so peacefully, mm -hmm. I really yearn for the day I will sleep like that again. <laughs> he said, my daughter, I release you. Now, in our culture, when children are born, they have to sneeze. Mm -hmm. That sneezing, the first sneeze is very important. Mm -hmm. 
that first needs is very important. There is, uh, it symbolizes so many things. Mm -hmm. So he actually used that sneeze and said, if when you were sneezing, the sneezing was facing Mount Kenya, <laughs> I release you. Wow. Na mambo ya mungu, and that was it. Wow. Now when this guy went to sleep, mm -hmm. I told him, when you go sleep, when you wake up, you disappear. Don't even come back here. Mm -hmm. So he, he went to, he didn't sleep. Kumbe the guy went to pray. My cousin is shocked up to today. They are supposed to sleep in the same bed. Him, he knelt down and prayed the whole night. Mm. So when your dad in the morning is releasing you, it is prayer that it is his prayers. Answered. Prayers work. Sure. I'm telling wow. you, we, we belong to God. Me with manga because I had now given up. I had said, now this guy, he, I, I even at some point I tried to tell him we love. He refused. He said, we need their blessings. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really thank God for. Wow. Because finally, hey, in that morning, my dad released us. So he said, call him, give him a call and tell him to come home. So when he came home, I called him and I said, wow, you can't believe the news. Mm -hmm. He has said yes. So he comes. By reaching like the gate, you know, there was no real gate. You know, there is that, yeah. uh, uh, the, the, now the road. Yes. My dad went for him. Wow. Then they come, they sat. My dad now talked to him for the first time. <laughs> and then he told him, get out your ID. ID. <clears throat> so, unajua bado lazima akue tu. Because uh, she's going to a foreign land. Mm -hmm. So for the sake of uh, security, mm -hmm. He I needs to I get the to details of the ID. My details. Well, so I so he had to give out, give out the ID. <laughs> and now, it's now equivalent to photocopying. Yes. He took a book and a pen and wrote, wrote everything. everything in the oh, ID. The <laughs> uh, from Kerenyaga, uh, whatever. That yeah, time it was district, Kerugoya district. Yeah, yes. The Jewish application. Uh, those ones in the ID. Then even went behind the and wrote the backside of his paper. So that in case the daughter, uh, I mean, disappears, disappears, he knows where to trace. Wow. <laughs> it was really interesting. Just that. <laughs> so that night, when yes. you went, yes. and the father have said no, yes. what was in your mind? You know, <clears throat> I must admit that the way I was brought up, mm -hmm. uh, I grew in very deep faith. Mm -hmm. And I... That was uh, that is what I was also preaching <coughs> that uh, prayers can change anything and mm. all that. So, mm. in my heart, I knew God would do something. Mm. And when you hear that I prayed the whole night, mm -hmm. actually I can't even feel like it was the whole night because I was in a serious prayer. Mm. And uh, well, I was also ready in case things don't work, mm -hmm. then God should help me to handle that. Yes. But, um, you know, <clears throat> when you believe in something mm -hmm. and you don't have any doubt, mm -hmm. it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I think uh, the investment, let me call it, mm -hmm. that I had done uh, in uh, growing deep in faith, mm -hmm. really bore fruits. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, so I was able to get a wife like that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's yeah, actually, the same morning when he said yes, mm -hmm. we called the, his parents and there was this. Haraka, haraka. And we, 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 we set the date. Everything just went moving. That, that was in January, yeah. uh, 2nd of January. And uh, they came on February 20-something. Mm -hmm. When I went to school, mm -hmm. when we are in the staff meeting, they are saying, meet time is this date. And I see the date that we set for the Wazes to come is the same date they have put for meet time. Mid -term, wow. Yeah, May they came now, they paid the dowry. Mm -hmm. And on 11th of August, yeah. 2007, that is when we yeah. wow. walked down the aisle. Just that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have the, the morning has come. Yes. Your your wife, then your yeah. girlfriend, yes. is calling you and saying, mm -hmm. "You can't believe mm -hmm. what my dad is saying." Yes. When the news was given to you yes. by her. Yes. How did you feel? Oh my! That is when you speak in tongues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I was so excited. <laughs> By the way, I literally worshipped God. I, I was so excited mm -hmm. and it elevated my faith higher. Mm -hmm. and, and I knew for sure it was the plan of God. Sure. You know, sometimes you are not so sure of uh, is it you or is it the will of God? Mm -hmm. But that confirmed mm -hmm. that uh, she was meant for me. Mm -hmm. 
I even uh, told her, you only came to KU to meet me. Yes. <laughs> I didn't go to you know, study. No, not really <laughs> so for my degrees. <laughs> you know, it was uh, God's plan. Mm -hmm. So I was very excited. I really appreciated. And uh, that's why I moved very fast. Mm -hmm. Of course, you don't want to waste any time. I'm a man of speed. Yes. Uh, I told you in our first six years, we had four children. Yeah. You, you know, if you are not fast in life, you miss out on many things. <laughs> uh, so... <clears throat> That that was the feeling. Yes. Total excitement. Uh, also very anxious, of course, mm -hmm. because you don't know what next. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we do things very differently. Paying mm -hmm. dowry it's uh, very different mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. they, they need ca cows. Count. Cows walking Thousand. ones. Yes. So we had to, to agree. You have to bring more. Yes. Yeah. So now the stress of how will we bring all the cows from and goats from Kenya to, to Kericho. You know, uh -huh. uh, via Nyeri. Yes. We, we couldn't really get that one in our hands. But mm -hmm. then uh, fortunately, they were also very flexible mm -hmm. that we can monetize uh, uh, the, the whole thing. Sure. Yeah. By the way, God favored me so much mm -hmm. that they didn't stick to their, their culture. culture so much. Uh -huh. uh, you know, that is how God works. Mm -hmm. yeah. They reinvent so much of the cultures. And but they made sure the money buys the cows. Yeah, that yeah. one, yeah, yeah. for sure. So, oh, they, yeah. so they did that. They From cows to, to money, money to cows. <laughs> and they still finally took the cows. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So how was the dating like then the courtship? Well, the only thing I remember is uh, <laughs> that because of the distance and all that, mm -hmm. it wasn't very easy. Mm -hmm. Remember, you have to talk yeah. over the phone, mm -hmm. where you have to wait. By then, where are you posted? Um, was for me, I was still in Nairobi. And uh -huh. for her, I was first in Kericho. In, uh, Kericho mm -hmm. And then, um, much later is when she, she when came to, to Thika. Thika. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. So now that from Nairobi to Kericho, to Kericho yeah. and you are told uh, that uh, your girlfriend is sick, Men, oh. the journey to Kericho is not. And these are the costs. <laughs> and you're working. Yes, and you are working. Mm. These are the costs that finally board you together mm -hmm. very closely mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you attach more value yes. to that which has costed you time and money. And, yeah. uh, and yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Actually, there is a time when I was on teaching practice. In teaching practice, I, I did it in Kericho, mm -hmm. a school in Kericho. And um, this teaching practice, at some point, I got very sick. Mm -hmm. I was anemic. So I, I, my blood levels went down, so I fainted actually in school. Mm -hmm. I was taken and admitted in, in a, a private hospital in Kericho town. Mm -hmm. And this guy came the whole night, mm -hmm. coming in the morning, and I had not woken up. Mm -hmm. When he reached the door, my mom can tell you, I mean, <laughs> they got shocked until they were like, because mm -hmm. when he arrived is when I woke up. Uh -huh. <laughs> I actually opened my eyes when he was coming in. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Even that he traveled, they were talking with my sister. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was I really arrived yeah, and, and I woke up. Where when he died, <laughs> <laughs> that was a real confirmation. Wow. Yeah, but of course, um, again, the, 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 the church background, the way he's brought up, mm -hmm. uh, like for him, me, I was serving in the CU in KU. Mm -hmm. I was um, uh, head of Asha, Asha's. Mm -hmm. And this guy is not coming to see you. So I was like, so he was going to church in Gedorai. Mm -hmm. So actually at some point I really wanted to be sure. I told him now I need to see your church. Mm -hmm. So I had to sacrifice one day, mm -hmm. not go to, going to see you to go to their church. Mm -hmm. And I was so impressed the way they were talking. Mm -hmm. Those guys are so nice. I, the message, yeah, it really penetrated. And mm -hmm. I told him, wow. This, this, is, this is where uh, this is where I want us to be, wow. and that's where we are. Mm -hmm. And we are so happy because we've been able to grow in faith mm -hmm. through the same. Wow. But of course, um, we did all that. We did the wedding. Mm -hmm. That was two or seven. Mm -hmm. And if you can remember very well, mm -hmm. two or seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, two what happened? Seven. Yes, there was post election. Yes, so I would say it was. It really affected us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, the fights and everything. Mm -hmm. So I was really scared. Mm -hmm. At some point, I wanted to go back. Mm -hmm. I was like, no. Mm -hmm. 
because mm. somehow my parents were being threatened, mm. those things. Mm. But I thank God because we came out of it. Wow. Yeah. You know, it wasn't very easy because you're in the house. Mm -hmm. And you together. just got married, yeah? You mm. just mar got married, you're in the house, and you're seeing Kikuyus and Kalenjins fighting. Mm. Uh, and uh, there you are seated, Kikuyu and Kalenjins. <laughs> and, you know, <clears throat> really, and uh, there is pressure also mm. from her parents mm. and, and uh, her people. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you run away. Yeah, you know now yeah. surely mm -hmm. uh, if she runs away i'm left uh, wifeless yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it wasn't very easy it wasn't mm -hmm. very easy but then i really thank god that uh, we decided to stick together yes and they say in uh, in good times and in bad times yes. you know all that mm -hmm. but really there is that time when the reality hits yes and you have to walk the mm -hmm. talk yes you know wow so we you now have to do what you have always said should be done. Yes. Yeah. So we survived that season mm -hmm. and uh, here we are. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm told that our time is up. Yes. But we must do the second episode. Mm -hmm. Now we need to see how the journey has been mm -hmm. in the marriage and some of the challenges you've gone through in your marriage and how you've been able to overcome them. Mm -hmm. So next Friday, we must do it. Wow. And so they are here. And next Friday, they will be here. Ooh. We must continue with this story. Because it has, it's a story that has in a hand. So thank you very much. And we are continuing with this story. Next Friday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our viewers, we are grateful that you joined us. Sikasirike, this story will continue next week this is couple's week show and this is where we write down our love when we are alive for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under neither we want our love story to be read when we are gone i was hosting the karaoke's and next friday they will be explaining to us how their journey has been see you on friday my name is willie kinyash the undisputed I'm a Dr. Love and this is Wema TV The Voice of Hope. For now it is a good night. God bless you and God bless your marriage.